okay so hello guys welcome back to the new video so in this video we're gonna make this awesome slider using the slider revolution plugin for your website okay so let me show the demonstration of the slider as you can see that in the screen we have this slider and this beautiful animation coming with this slider so here you can see that we have this shop now button and also with this cool animation and, and also we have this wave coming at the top of the slider and also these uh, are working if i click on this the slider will change automatically and okay so it is a very basic type of slider but uh, we can uh, make this by using the slider revolution plugin and this is a beginner friendly uh, video so if you want to learn how to make such type of awesome slider using the revolution slider plugin for your wordpress website so let's start the video and i'm going to show you from scratch okay so for making this we have to go to our dashboard first so let me go to the dashboard and for this uh, i'm going to show you uh, what are the themes and plugins i am using so uh, so uh, it will work with any theme but uh, i'll suggest to use the hello uh, hello elementor theme if you are making the custom website and let me go to the plugins and here for the plugin i am using uh, Okay, so for the plugin, uh, this is the main plugin slider revolution and uh, this is the free version of the Elementor for adding it in the page. Okay, so let's start and uh, we're gonna make this from scratch and uh, for that uh, I'm gonna add a new page. So I will show you from scratch how you can add the page and add the slider to your new home page if you are making. Okay, so let's start and uh, let's add a new page here. Okay, so this is uh, so let's name it slider 2 and uh, we're gonna use the elemental full width uh, or any so let me choose this and let's publish this and uh, and for making this you need some uh, images so for downloading the images you can go to unsplash.com okay so from here if you write here any topic you will get uh, so many images for free and with a good uh, images quality so if I go to the portrait mode, you can see that I have so many images. So you can choose from this website and also, okay, so this is added. Let's get back to our slider revolution plugin. And for that, we have to open the slider revolution plugin. So let me open this. Okay, so this this. Okay, so for that we have to open the new blank module here and uh, we're gonna make this slider from scratch and I will show you how you can add such type of slider in your awesome uh, in your website uh, by using the revelation slider. So let's wait for it to open. Okay, so after that it will show you to turn the guide. I don't want to see the guide. So cancel everything so we are on the dashboard of the slider revolution and uh, for this first uh, you can see that we have this background here something so for adding the background you can go to unspec.com and you can write here uh, suppose i write here art so for that uh, we're gonna use some images here okay so i will give you these images in the video description so you can download these images from there okay so for that putting here so for that we have to go to the settings and from here let's go to the default or go to the layout option and uh, here we have to go to this option and here in the type option go to the image and choose your media library and from here let me choose this image okay so i will put this images in the video description so you can copy these images from there then go to filters and here you can see that we have this black and white mode so for making this black and white uh, we're gonna use a setting here so okay so this one ink well let's save this and after that what we have to do you can see that here i have only here we have the fixed height the 700 pixel so for making it uh, we have to go to the settings and from here go to the layout and in the layout you can see that we have your browser width so just write it here 700 like that so it will change its height okay so let me start and we're gonna make this section first for making this section let me close this little bit and from here go to that layer and here choose the image okay so let's wait for it then you can see that the, uh, this come then we have to just uh, that we have to click this image then it's here in the media library go me in the media library and uh, here you can go here and let's insert this image so you can see that uh, this is inserted but uh, we have to go to the styles uh, let's go to the size and position here we can place it here and here okay uh, then after that uh, we need to 
minimize its size so for that you can uh, go here and change its width so let me choose here 500 and for okay so this is comes so for that we have to just uh, place it here and uh, here like that okay so i hope it is covering the whole screen or you can also increase its width like 600 like that okay so let me so let me save so let's save this and after saving what we can do we have to uh, check if it is uh, properly placed so let me go to the preview option and in the preview you can see that we have this image in the left and in the right and we have this here okay so everything is working just uh, we have to add uh, some okay so you can see that uh, the face is now coming we have to just do it the center okay this is the horizontal position and this is for the vertical one okay so let me save this again okay then after that we have to make this so for making this what we can do we can go to the add layer go to the text and here you can choose the quick style content or you can also choose the heading from here so let me choose uh, we have to add this for for adding this uh, we're gonna choose uh, this one okay so then go to the content option close this click on this go to the content and here we're gonna write uh, suppose i'm gonna write uh, fashion walk okay and just uh, you can place it like this so for so it will be okay you, uh, you can play with its uh, uh, size and after that go to add layer from here we're gonna add for the heading okay so for the heading uh, we're gonna use this so let me choose any capital one okay so let's choose this one and bring it back here and here i'm gonna copy this embark on your stylist journey so let me choose uh, let me close this go to content and here we're gonna write uh, embark on your stylist journey just we have to uh, do it like that in order to click on this and from here you can increase its boldness uh, by going to styles and here you can increase its boldness so let me choose semi bold or you can also increase it make the 700 bold okay like that then after that uh, we have to enter this text here and any random text for that we have to go to the add layer and from here go to the quick style content okay so let me go below and here we can import uh, this so this will not import uh, okay sometimes so just we have to okay this is the extra one let me choose it and delete okay so let me simply copy this or we can copy any random text from here so let me quickly go lorem put some text here and here and i'm gonna quickly copy I'm gonna quickly copy some text from here so let me go here and go then choose this then close this then go to content and here we're gonna write this after that we have to just uh, uh, in, just uh, okay let me place this okay so then you have to just uh, uh, increase its width like that it comes sometimes slow you can see that so it is almost done just we have to remove some content from here so let me remove this go to content and after the layout uh, from this layout i'm gonna remove all the content okay so this much content is looking good then after that let me okay or you can increase its font size if you want uh, let me increase this font size to 65 okay then after that we have to add uh, this button so for adding this button we have to just go to the layer and go to the button option click on this and here you will find so many buttons uh, which button you want to add so let me choose the same button here the, uh, the circular one just you have to choose uh, this and just drag and drop this below here like that okay so this is added uh, so just we have to uh, go to click on the button uh, close this and after that go to the content and here you can write uh, shop for now and after that you have to go to the styles option and here you can increase the font size suppose i want to make this 25 pixel 
like that or you can make this 20 pixel and if you want to then after that uh, let's go to here okay so so this is done and if you want to increase its size and all you can also increase it from here and uh, let me choose this like that okay so the button is also added now let's save this and we're gonna preview this once so let me preview this from here and you, you can see that uh, the, our slider is totally working and almost similar to this now we have to add uh, the animations and this waves and this navigations okay so for doing that let me close this and after that what we can do for adding the animations so for adding the animation we can just uh, click on this click on which you want to add animation like suppose i want to add animation in here so i'm going to click here and go to animations and in the in animation click on this in and here you can choose so many types of animation like this if you hover on this you will find this animation there are so many animation if you go to the pop-ups you can see that so many are there so in this way you can add the animation so let me choose this okay let me choose this and after that for this uh, I'm gonna sometime it goes like that if you click on this sometime it goes like that I don't know and after that go to the uh, animation then go to the in and for that uh, I'm gonna using rotation and rotate from top so after that we have to go to the this option okay so let me choose this and after that we have to go to the in option and here also we can use any mass transitions pose this one let's choose the here and so in this button if you want to add animation you have to just uh, go in the in option and from here let me add the rotation from top option okay so let me save this and after that we're gonna add uh, this is looking weird because okay now now we have to just click on this image go to animation then in and for this we're gonna use the pop-up pop-up smooth also you can add some delay time here suppose you want to uh, open uh, this main text after uh, suppose 100 milliseconds and after that you have to open this uh, after 300 after 300 milliseconds and for this too you want to open this after 400 milliseconds and this button would come after the 500 milliseconds and this image and after clicking this image go to animation then in the in animation uh, let me choose the pop-up smooth after uh, 600 or you can say that after 800 animation so let me save this after saving this let's go to the preview option and here let's preview this so you can see that all the animations are perfectly working as you can see so let me go back and now what is remaining just we have to duplicate these slides and we're gonna add this icons so for first let me duplicate this just go to slides option so here it will come then just to duplicate this from here and and you can duplicate it as many times as you want to add slides so i wanna only add three slides let me duplicate this once again and here you have to just change this content and all the animations are also duplicated just you have to change your images and this content from here so i'm gonna only change the image okay so you can change the content also if you want okay so this is done let me save this you are not required to save this every time just i'm saving this so let's go to third slide and here we can also change this image so let me change this image to this one okay so just have to change the content let's save and uh, let's uh, preview okay let me preview this one more time and after see after preview you can see that it is comes so let's see if our second slide is coming or not so it will take sync some time to come so okay so a second slide is also come just we have to remove some uh, uh, slide below time okay so after that we have to go to the settings and for decreasing the time of the slides so we have to go to the uh, layout okay so you have to go to the settings then go to the default option and here you can change the time so let me change this to 3000 millisecond then save this so every time in the three seconds the slide will come so let me preview this from here you can preview this your 
slider from here so you can see that let's wait for three seconds okay so our second slide is also come let's wait for again and you can see that our third slide is also come. okay so in this way uh, you can mix this then let's add this uh, navigation arrows so we're adding the arrows we have to go to the settings on oh, no no and up and uh, after the settings you can see that we have this option just click on this navigation option and here in the arrows bullets you can add so many options but i'm gonna adding uh, the progress bar so here you can see that i have this progress bar here so every time the slide is completed the next slide will come after that time so it will show you the so for that uh, uh, we're gonna use uh, in color so let me choose this red one okay and for that we're gonna alignment will be at top you can see that it comes already okay so just uh, now we have to add the okay so let me save this first and i will show you that uh, let's go to the preview and here you can see that after previewing our this uh, uh, progress bar is coming at the top of the slide so let me close this okay so then after that uh, we have to add the uh, arrows let's click on the arrows active the arrows and here you will find tons of option like this like this like this okay so from here you can choose your uh, icons for this so i so i'm using this icon there so i'm gonna use this one only okay so after that let's save this let's preview this one more time and uh, you can see that our arrows are coming here and also the slides are working and also on click the slides are working okay so in this way you can add uh, many awesome slider by using the slider revolution plugin okay so let me show you how you can add this slider in your page after completing so let's get back to the dashboard uh, get back to the dashboard okay then after that you have to uh, just open the page we have just made the new one slider to just uh, edit this uh, uh, let me edit this and in the slider 2 you have to go and edit with elementor and after that we have to just call the slider revolution widget here and choose the slider so let's wait for it and here you can see that we have this layout so let me search here slider uh, revolution slider or you can slide this so here you can see that we have two sliders so i'm going to choose this slider too which we have just added so here you can see that we, we can also preview this from here so this slider is not fully okay so it comes full if you if you don't come to go to the container and here you have to choose the full width go to the advanced and remove all the padding so let me update this and let me preview our page and so you can see that we have this working slider here and you can make such type of beautiful slider by using the slider revolution plugin and you can also use the elementor for adding these slides in your home page or anywhere okay so i hope you like our video if you like our video please share our videos with your friends like and subscribe our channel and i'm gonna see you next time